Have you guys ever wanted to play Minecraft Java using an Xbox controller? Then this is the video for you. This video is going to show you guys how you can play Minecraft using any controller in your house. So, let's get started. So what you guys are going to first want to do is head over to the first link in the description and it will take you to this website here. Now, the only way to enable controller compatibility to Java Minecraft is by using mods. Don't worry, it's not heavy, it's nothing complicated, anyone can do it and we're going to do it right now. Now this mod it was created by a fellow YouTuber, goes by the name of Mr. Crayfish, 1.1 million subscribers and he does a whole load of crazy things. But we're not here for that at the moment, we're here for the mod that he created. So the mod is called Controllable, the mod is only for Forge. So if you know the difference between Fabric and Forge, this one is only for Forge. So. If you go down here you'll see forge and then you'll see framework all you want to do is middle click it with your mouse just to open them up up here because we are going to want to download them as well now once you've middle clicked forge and framework and you've got the tabs up here you then want to come over here and then hit download now the different minecraft versions can be found within the files area it's currently updated to Minecraft 1.20.1, which is the most recent version of Minecraft as of recording this video. But it does go all the way down to version 1.12.2. So there's many different versions for anyone who's looking at playing an older version of Minecraft. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit download, not install. The only time you hit install is if you're using the Curse Forge launcher, which we're not. We're just using the normal Minecraft launcher. So let's hit download and then this will start downloading and we'll see it pop up down here very very soon whilst this is downloading let's go and download these other things as well so the second thing we're going to download is forge and you can find forge and framework as their own independent links in the description as well but anyway once you click it you're going to see download recommended and then the version make sure your forge version matches the version of controllable so we downloaded version 1.20.1 .1, therefore we're now going to download 1.20.1 forge so download recommended make sure the version's correct and hit install and then that's going to give us one of these little ad things just ignore it in the top right hand side you'll see a skip button very very soon just like that let's skip it and it comes all the way down here now framework, all we need to do, click on it, hit download once again, you're basically downloading framework just the same way as you downloaded controllable. Okay, we now have the folders onto our desktop. We have framework, controllable and forge. What we're going to do is we're going to double click on forge and that will bring up a menu just over here. The first thing we want to do is install it as a client. This should all be set automatically. If it's not, and you don't know where your Minecraft folder is located, leave me a comment, I'll help you find it in no time. So we're downloading 1.20.1 Forge, we're just going to hit OK, and that will start downloading. And then once it's downloaded, you'll see this pop up. Now we can close all out of that and open Minecraft. Now that we've loaded back into Minecraft, you should notice down here, we now have an option for Forge. If we click it, you can see all the other different options that you will have available to you. If you don't see Forge within this menu, all you need to do is go to Installations, New Installation, call it whatever you want, and then click on Version, and then go down to Forge. If it's not there, leave a comment, and I will help you work out what's gone on. Now we need to install those mods that we've just downloaded, the Framework and the Controllable. So you hold the Windows key and press R on the keyboard and then type app data into this run prompt. It will then open your Minecraft folder. All we need to do is hit roaming and then dot Minecraft and then mods. Now if you don't see a mods folder, it's because what you need to do is you need to run forge first. So by running this, it will create your mods folder, you shut down Minecraft, and then you go inside your mods folder. 
Now, I've, I've already got some mods here that I'm going to quickly drag out. They're just world edit, optifying, and so on and so on. So now, we're going to get controllable, we're going to get framework, we're going to drag it in, and that is a job done. You can now play using a controller, which I'm about to go and show you now. I almost forgot to mention something really important. Obviously, this is not going to work if you haven't connected your controller. So, connect your controller first, either by Bluetooth or from a cable, and then load into Minecraft. So, I made a bit of a mistake. So what I did was I instantly hit the download button, thinking it would give me the latest version. That is not what's happened. It's gave me version 1.13 or something, and that's not going to work with our 1.20.1. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into files, and most of the time it will be organized, but in this case it isn't organized. And as we can see, 1.20.1 is here instead of it being at the top. So we're going to click on it. We're going to click download and we're just going to replace those two files. And there we go, we've loaded back into the game and as you can tell, my controller is working. Here's my other hand, my controller's working up and down, up and down. So what we're going to do is we're going to log in to my Minecraft server and we're going to see how well this works. I already know how well it works. Literally, it works just as if you're playing on the Xbox. Now, if you guys have a PlayStation controller, or if you guys want to play with a TV remote for whatever stupid reason, I am going to go and show you how to do that now. All you're going to want to do is go to Options, and then Controls. Next to the Controls, you'll see a little Xbox controller icon. Click on it, and then it will show you what controller you have connected to your computer. If you go to Settings, you can change a bunch of different settings. Um, you have the icons on the screen to make it a little bit easier for you and to give it a proper default Xbox look. Uh, so you can either go PlayStation 5, PlayStation 2, 3, Xbox One, 360, uh, Switch, Switch controller, GameCube. You get the point. You can basically do anything that you want. If you go to binding, you can change what button does what. Um, on the controller. I'm not going to get into that though because literally you can make a B jump instead of A jump but anything that you do modify in here is going to take away the feel of the Xbox theme if that makes sense. But anyway that is literally guys the end of the video. Super easy once you've done all this work you never have to do it again. All you need to do is log into Minecraft, start playing with a controller, and start having fun with your friends, especially on my Minecraft server. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys when I see you guys in the next one. And bye, bye.